Hello, Michael from CTW, and today the Rorig history lesson is about helicopter rotor damper dynos. So we made several dynos that were capable of testing a helicopter rotor damper. The first one we ever made was a simple crank dyno, and we got as elaborate as a 4K Emma for the helicopter dyno. Now, obviously, this thing is laying down, as you can see. The real key for the helicopter rotor dampers was uh, they have to run horizontal. So we built a frame and various items so that they could actually do the rotor damper just the way it was in the helicopter. So they have a 4K Emma on a table laying flat and this is what they used. Now there's a few things we also modified on the Emma itself. There are bungee cords to pull the actuator back home back into place. But other than that, it is basically just a 4K Emma that can lay down. Same kind of situation. This is, I believe, a five horsepower or dyno, again, laying down so that they can test the rotor damper uh, on a crank dyno as a backup. Now this is a rather slow speed test. It's rather customized strokes. So the crank is very customized for this particular application. But overall, we made, uh, I, I can't even say how many we made, but um, we're also doing one as CTW now for a company. But this is what, uh, what we did at Rorg, and I wanted to share that with you. Uh, one of the main sources of the rotor dampers are for helicopters servicing the offshore platforms flying back and forth out to the oil rigs in the Gulf or wherever they may be. They would test, rebuild the dampers to specifications. So again, just sharing that with you, another word history lesson. Thank you.